after you have covered the basics of submission, now we have come to the more advanced type of questions, which require the method of difference. And in this short video, I'd like to share with you the concepts behind this method of difference and how you apply it to solve questions. So usually, you'll be given something like an expression where you need to simplify or express into something minus something. Okay, the keyword is minus. Why? Because it's called method of difference. Difference means minus, right? So you must have a minus in between, not a plus, but a minus. Right, remember, minus. And so, how do you apply method of difference? So, say for example, I need a submission from 1 to n. I need a submission gr. gr is an expression. I will share with you an example later, after I share with you the concept. And so, my gr can be expressed as fr minus fr plus 1, right? So, I will just replace this, right? Sorry, this should be r. Okay, I'll just replace inside. So I'll okay, get FR minus FR plus 1. Okay, I simply replace my GR by FR minus FR plus 1. And so now the apply method difference very simple. You just sub in the first term, which is R equals to 1 inside. So I'll get okay, F1 minus F2. Okay? After that, you put a plus here because submission stands for plus, right? I'm any of all the terms. And the uh, number that comes after 1 is 2. So I put 2 inside. So I'll get F2 minus F3. And followed by F3 minus, I put 3 inside, I'll get F4. And now, what do you notice? You start to see a pattern, right? You start to see a pattern. The pattern is. This term will cancel with this term. Right? That's why it's called method of difference. This term cancel with this term. This term cancel with this term. And of course, this term will cancel the term below. But we don't need to write every terms because if not, you won't be able to complete the question, right? So what we do is we simply just put plus dollar dot here. And this term will cancel with this term, the one below this. Okay? So we just write the first three rows. Followed by the last two rows. Okay, I repeat again. You write the first three rows followed by the last two rows. In the middle, you just put plus, top and top. Okay? And so the second last row, what is the term before n? Is n minus 1. Right? The one before n is n minus 1. I put n minus 1, I'll get f bracket n minus 1. I put n minus 1, I'll get f n. Alright? And the last term will be, I put n, I will get fn minus fn plus 1. Alright? And so you can see that, what can you see? You can see that this term cancel with this term. And of course, this term will cancel with the row above it, which I didn't write. Right? This term will cancel the row above it. And so I'll be left with how many terms? I'll be left with, I'll be left with this one and this one. I'll be left with two terms. Okay, and so my answer is simply just equals to f1 minus f bracket n plus 1. So, this is how we apply method of difference, okay, by cancelling out all the terms that in, 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 in the center, I'll be left with the first few terms and the last few terms. Okay, another important concept that we should like to share with you is, method of difference, where you cancel out, it applies in some sort of a symmetrical manner. So if I left with one term here, I'll be left with one term here. Okay, so for example, if I have a one term here, I'll be left with one term here, right? The rest will all cancel away, right? Okay? If I have two terms here, you see the rest all cancel away, I'll be left with two terms here. Can you see it's symmetrical? If I left with one term here, I'll be left with one term here. If I left with two terms here, I'll be left with two terms here. But if I left with two terms on the right hand side, say for example like this, alright, and all this cancel away. If I left two terms here, I'll be left with two terms here. So it's a bit like something like symmetrical, right? Okay? And so that's it. We have covered method of difference. 
concepts. Thank you.